Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this counter based circuit and here we have been asked to find the counting sequence of the given circuit for the first 12 clock cycles. And to find that, first let us understand the working of the given circuit. So here as you can see, the output of this flip flop is given to the counter. And based on the output of the flip flop, the counter will count either in the up direction or the down direction. And as you can see, the output of the counter is given to the decoder circuit. And here, the output of the decoder is the active low. That means based on the output of the counter, only one of the output of the decoder will become low. And when that output will become low, then that particular LED will glow. So here as you can see, this Y0 output is connected to the clear input of the flip-flop while this Wi-Fi output is connected to the preset input of the flip-flop. That means whenever this Y0 output is low, then that signal will be given to the clear input. And accordingly, the flip-flop will get reset. And similarly, this Wi-Fi output is given to the preset input. That means whenever this Wi-Fi is equal to low, then the flip-flop will receive the preset input. And accordingly, the output of the flip-flop will change. And based on that output, the counting direction of the counter will change. So initially, the count of the counter is equal to 0, 0, 0. That means initially, this Y0 output will become low. And therefore, it will generate the clear signal for the flip-flop. That means initially, this flip-flop will get reset to 0. And therefore, this Q output of the flip-flop will become 0. And at the same time, this Q bar output will become 1. That means initially, this counter will start counting in the upward direction. So starting from the 0, 0, 0, it will count in the upward direction. So while counting in the upward direction, when the count of the counter goes to the 1, 0, 1, then this Wi-Fi output become low. And as soon as this output becomes low, then the preset input will get generated for the flip-flop. And as you can see over here, this preset input is also equal to active low. That means as soon as the flip-flop receives this asynchronous preset input, then the output of the flip-flop will become high. That means now, this Q will become 1 and the Q bar will become 0. And therefore, now the counter will count in the downward direction. So now, from the next clock onwards, the counter will count in the downward direction. So from 1, 0, 1, it will go to the 1, 0, 0. And then after, in the next clock pulse, it will go to the 0, 1, 1. And in this way, the counter will go up to the 0, 0, 0. So once again, when the count of the counter will become 0, 0, 0, then this Y0 output will become low. And as soon as this Y0 output becomes low, then it will generate the clear input for the flip-flop. That means once again, now the Q becomes 0 and this Q bar becomes 1. That means from the 0, 0, 0, once again it will count in the upward direction. That means during the first 12 clock cycles, if you see the counting sequence of the counter, then it will count in this fashion. So initially, it will go from 0 to 5 and then after, it will start counting in the downward direction. That means from the 5, it will start counting in the downward direction. And as soon as the count of the counter becomes 0, 0, 0, then once again, it will start counting in the upward direction. So this is the counting sequence for the first 12 clock cycles. And therefore, for the given question, this is the correct answer.